Hey gang, still a bit windy, so I'm going to have to speak a bit closer to the uh, microphone. Look at that, bet you can't read that. B-U-R-G-E-R, -E burger. Wait, oh, yeah. and that's what the picture looks like, but trust me, that sign does say burger. This sign, this is interesting, um, it says shop, to the, to the left of it it's pronounced magazine, um, which is their word for shop. The French word for shop is magasin. Um, they make G A S I N, which is the same way they spell it here, but in Zurich. It was, was so the French pronounced it magasin, and the um, and the Russian language is magazine. Um, it's interesting, isn't it? And in both ways, they mean shop. Where are we? Well, besides being a little one nippier up here, um, they said that it's a little nippy. <laughs> I mean, she's, uh, she's brave in it, I think. But where are we? This is a little significant, actually. Because... Check this sign out. Ergestam 71. And don't Google it, folks, because uh, Ergestam is another Chinese border. And uh, a few weeks ago, we were close to uh, another Chinese border. And, uh, and as we are now, it's just 71 kilometers away. Uh, what's that? 71 is about, uh, about just under 45 miles. And that's straight on. To the right, Darut Korgon. If you look at your maps, you will see that Darut Korgon is in Kurdistan. And it's, it's very close to another border, which is where we are heading now. Um, look at this cemetery. To the to the right, actually, a, a lot of these countries have semi have headstones like that. There'll be uh, a picture of the uh, of the person who has passed and uh, their name, and uh, in this case, 1930 to 2005. Um, so you see how this cemetery is. I'm not sure. So some of them just look like. You know, what to us would be two vertical sticks with two horizontal sticks between them. There's dates on them. That one there says Rashak oh God. Anar An. Maybe that's a person. Maybe th I guess so. That's their name. And under it says 1935-2001. One behind it. Said 1972 to 2003. Wow. Um, yeah, so maybe these type are some type of headstones as well. How oh, interesting. Go take a picture of that. Um, yeah. Anyway, so we're going to go for a, a little wander here. <laughs> Poor Lisa's a bit cold. You can probably see the, the breeze ruffling her um, black blouse. But this is a tiny village. It's called Sari Tash. S-A-R-Y hyphen T-A-S-H. And to the left, that road goes down to the Chinese border. And to the right, it goes elsewhere. And uh, see some typical other stores here. 183 kilometers from Osh, I believe that that means. Oh boy, there's a hotel there. And uh, this may well be coming up the last petrol station. Although along the side of the road at various points there will be, you see like, um, look, they look like, you know, uh, pattern plastic bottles that they once upon a time had got Pepsi-Cola in them. And, um, but these days, uh, if you see them on the side of the road, it means that that place nearby is selling fuel. So, this, so there'll be other ways of getting fuel besides a, a proper station like this, although the other ways will, of course, be more expensive. Okay, Sari Tash. Now look at this all in English. Um, and this uh, sign isn't quite in tune with the actual road. This, on the, on the left hand side there where I'm pointing, is that road there. Um, this one there is that road there. And the 
this one at the left, top left hand corner is the road. It's definitely getting windier, so it's a good chance you're not going to be able to hear me. So, um, if I'm coming over louder, apologies, but I've got my mouth right next to the uh, microphone as we walk down. Our transport is down there, and there's four of us Lisa, or I, um, another fellow from England, and a chap from Hong Kong, and of course, the driver as well. Let's have a look here. And this may well be the last Kurdistan flag that we've seen for a while. Lisa and I, our present plans are to return to Kurdistan in about three weeks. Ah, I guess we're going to the World Nomad Games. Folks, how about that? Anyway, so, uh, what's today? Uh, today is Saturday. So I guess, I'm not sure of the school days here, I suppose there's a good chance that uh, there's no school today. Actually, come to think about it, there's no school anyway, because it's it's August. So I don't think they start up again for another few weeks or so. Uh, where's Lisa? And there she is. It must be freezing. Anyway, so yeah, this is just like a little a village that's at a bit of a crossroads for the... Salam alaikum. Okay, watch this, watch this. Besh Tash. Besh Tash. Besh Tash. Besh Tash. Besh Tash. Ah, rock band. Besh Tash means. Besh means five. Besh means five. Tash means give me. So give me five. Besh Tash. Besh Tash. Rock band. Okay, bye bye. Okay, Rachman apparently is Curtis. Oh, thank you. He probably thinks I'm a nutcase. You do that in Western countries, I think you're pedophile or something. Um, anyway, which I'm not. Um, and Lisa's my little proof of that. I hope she's still alive back there. Oh, there she is, taking a photograph. Oh, here's another sign. Okay. So. Kultura 104 kilometers, Osh 184, to the right Nura 71. That must be uh, on the border actually between Kurdistan and uh, China. Um, although I thought the border was called Kyrgyzstan, so maybe Nura is close to that border or something. Anyway, we're heading down and uh, I'm gonna stop this video soon because it might be too windy so you may not be able to understand me anyway our transport is another couple of hundred yards down there on the left I think the driver was thinking that we wanted a lunch break but we all got out and started walking around anyway uh, now see this is interesting see on the side of the building the top right hand corner you'll see that word in Srili now it actually means Gosht Gosht, G-O-S-T, Gosht, which is a way of saying guest. So that is a guest house, um, but it's say it's not in English, it's in Cyrillic. So that's probably the sort of guest house that, for whatever reason, they think that you know maybe Westerners wouldn't like to stay in. So they don't put the sign up in in uh, in, in uh, the Roman alphabet. They leave it in the Cyrillic alphabet. Gosh, then, uh, how about that? And we've seen that a few times actually. We've seen that word, up, and it, it's normally like the, a guest house that uh, maybe they think the locals would prefer, and not us. But how wrong they are. Anyway, we're headed down. Salam, Salam alaikum. If in doubt, if in doubt, give them the uh, Islamic greeting. Salam alaikum, and then you're supposed to reply, alaikum salam. And put your, put your right hand on your heart when you do that as well, same thing, same time. 
anyway so uh yeah i'm gonna cut this off soon because uh oh yeah check that out at the bottom you see the uh the peaks up there the mountain peaks the snow at the top and uh, there's probably a border as well lots of borders on the mountains natural border and all of that that sign says Sparka. What's Sparka mean? Spar, spar, something like that. I'm not sure what it means anyway. Um, anyway, yeah, so some people do go climbing off in those mountains actually. One of them is called Peak Lenin, Lenin Peak, which is a summit of sorts. And there are some people that do go hiking up to it. Talking about, of which, about an hour ago, we saw a Westerner walking in the opposite direction to which we were driving. Walking, you know, with his stuff on his back and everything else. And, you know, potentially there's a lot of miles to walk for him. But, you know, why not? A little bit of wind isn't going to kill you. A little bit of rain, well, a little bit of rain's okay. Don't want to get stuck in too much rain, though. Especially some of these places, because uh, there's uh, not that much shelter around once once you get out of uh, these little villages. And there's our transport. This is a hotel as well, actually. Akin. And these are some of our fellow guests. Eeny, meeny, and miny. Okay. See how friendly they are. Oh, there's the young one. Better not get too close to the young one else. Mum and dad may not be too pleased. Okay, here we are. So, onwards my friends, bye.